It was almost exactly one year ago that I posted my review of the Granite Rock Pan. It was a pretty good review and I actually ended up naming it one of my top items of 2018. In that year, I've been asked a lot about how this pan is holding up. So I figured today what I would do is go through all the same tests one year later after over 100 uses and see how it holds up. That's today's video. All right guys, for this video, I'm gonna use the same heat settings, the same items, even the same camera to film the same things that I did last year and try to make it as close to a recreation as I can and see how the pan's holding up with those same tests. I also wanna point out, I have no affiliation with the company that makes this product. It just happens to be one that I liked. And after this video, maybe I won't. Let's find out when I do my first test, which is the basic egg. No oil, no butter, just drop right in the pan. Check it out. First time around, it was First test was a single egg, dropped right in the center. Flame on three with no butter or oil. Now I don't usually make it that way now, but to imitate their demonstration and to go back to my original test, that's how we're gonna do it now. Last year I put, peeked underneath here. And it's still working. Hey, this isn't really sticking, look. It's still impressive. The commercial, you know, they show swirling around. You gotta dislodge it first. That's just not gonna happen, but it dislodges easily. Once you dislodge it, then it should swirl. There we go. Okay, pretty impressive. Now onto the plate. Voila, and look at this. Hardly anything in the pan. It's an impressive pan. Well, the egg did pretty well. So my next test was shredded cheese melted in the pan. The first time through, the layer in the bottom stuck, but the cheese poured out. This year, slightly different results, but still impressive nonetheless. Watch this. Set it to five, put two handfuls of cheese, and melted it. Let's do it again. Oh, we got sizzle. There we go. Now, what I was trying to do last year was uh, get it a little bit brown on the edges, and then dump it out like they showed in the commercial, and then scrape out the rest with a spatula. Let's see how different it is this year. All right, that's definitely pretty burnt here. Well, maybe it's more burnt this year than last year. I got nothing. It didn't fall out. Oh, let's try this. Now look at this. That's the impressive part to me. The dumping it, I thought that was a bit of a parlor trick because it could be stuck on there. But it, it was just barely stuck. Look, there's nothing left in the bottom. I almost feel like that's more impressive than last year. Has, could have possibly be better. Nah, but it still works. But as far as compared to last year's comparison, I think that was pretty close. I may have burned a little bit more this year than last year, but the results are still good. One of their strangest demonstrations is one where it has chocolate, caramel, and cheese on it. I recreated that last year and it did pretty well. And I did it again this year. Check it out. All right, again, this is their demonstration, not mine. I wouldn't do this. Chocolate chips, caramels, and some cheese. All right, it, it smells like burnt chocolate again, and it's mostly melted. Let's try the dump test. Whoa, just like last year, just like last year. There's even smoke coming off of it. I, th I think it actually looks worse this year than last year. Not that the, that's the pan's fault. I think I actually just burnt it more. This reminds me, I went to the Chaco bar down in Puerto Rico and tried their chocolate grilled cheese sandwich, which I wasn't fond of. In fact, here's a quick clip of that. The grilled cheese with chocolate here at the Chaco bar. Grilled cheese and chocolate. <laughs> Chocolate cheese and caramel all in one bite. Yum. Mmm. 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 -mm. The pan actually did pretty well. Taste was probably worse because it was burnt. It was, there, was a, there was a fourth flavor there. That was caramel, cheese, chocolate, and burnt flavor. Now, probably the most impressive demonstration last year was when I burnt marshmallows when I was comparing it to two other pans. So I'm not doing that comparison this year because those pans clearly aren't as good as the Granite Rock. This year, the results were a little bit different, but still impressive. Here's what happened. All I've got to do now is burn the bottom and see how it goes. All right, I think this is kind of burnt here. Let's see. That looks, that looks pretty burnt. Oh, wow, that doesn't look good. Uh-oh. Oh, it did! Oh, it did! Oh, we have this left behind, though. Oh, we have slightly different results. Whoa, whoa. 
This is a new development. This did not happen last year. They came out clean last year, but will it scrape out? Oh yeah, it still scrapes out. It still scrapes out, look at this. Wow. Ew. I don't know, I'm, even though the results were different, I'm still impressed. Here's another attempt at recreating what they did. Actually, I'm recreating what I recreated, where you put four Jolly Ranchers in there, three unwrapped, one wrapped, let it melt and wipe it out with a towel. Oh, the red one wants to slide. It's a sliding red one. Interesting, this year they're moving. I don't remember them moving like this last year. Notice that as they move away, they're not leaving anything behind. Their trail is going with them. But this is starting to turn brown already. Like this is already melting. All right, I guess I should try this now. Let's see how it goes. Whoa, ew, that's so gross. Ouch, ow, mm. just like last year, burnt my finger. Ow. It's a bit sticky in the bottom, just like last year, but most of it came out. The next one is where they put six eggs in the pan and a few strips of bacon and some cheese on top and then just magically poured it out. Last year it worked pretty well. This year, maybe not quite as good, but still not bad. Check it out. Let's give it a shot here. Oh, it's not moving. Uh oh, is it stuck? Let me see here. Oh, that's, that's all pretty good. Oh, it feels like there's a little piece stuck right there. So I think I just broke a yolk. Come on. There is something stuck right there. All right, dislodge it a little bit. Let's see, there it goes. Oh, not as impressive. We got something left behind this year. Oh no. All right, you know what? It's, it didn't perform as well as last year. There was a slight difference. Can that be forgiven? Or is that, a, is that just a deal breaker for you guys? What do you think? So right there is where it got stuck. That was what held it up. I don't know, I'll let you guys tell me if you think that's a deal breaker or not. That doesn't look very appealing, but that's because I broke one or two. Next up is the raw shrimp test with nothing on it. Just dropped in there raw and cooked and flipped. Here's how it went. Here we go again. No butter, no oil, nothing. Straight in the pan. A little bit sticky, but still coming, coming right off, really. Let me flip some of these and see how they look. It's slightly stuck to the bottom, but it doesn't take hardly any effort at all to really get them off of here. This looks just like last year. Let me compare it to last year and see how, how much of a difference there is. Because I don't see any difference. All right, let me pour these out and see how they look. Come on, guys. I think they came out pretty well. Really no sticking problems whatsoever. It was easy to just pull them right off the surface with the fork. We got one more test to do and wrap this thing up. For my final test, I cooked up a chicken breast in the pan and I cut it in the pan. That's not something I would normally do. It's something I haven't done over the last year. But in this case, I did it one time, but I was still trying to avoid cutting the pan. So here's what happened there. There we go. Nothing on it, no seasoning, nothing to affect the non-stick surface. We're going in there raw and see how it goes. Once again, is it sticking? It is not sticking. Did not stick at all. Just came right up. All right, it seems like it's about done. Oh yeah. Just like last time, I'll gently cut it in the pan. Which I normally wouldn't do anyways. I mean, there's no point in doing this, but... There we go. All right, well, let's go get some final thoughts on this and wrap this video up. Close up of the surface of the pan. It, it has aged pretty well, if you ask me. That's, that pan looks pretty nice. That's at least 100 uses. So in my conclusion, I still think that the Granite Rock pan is better than the Red Copper pan and better than the Blue Diamond pan, which I reviewed in the past. Those surfaces have degraded somewhat. The Granite Rock really doesn't seem to have degraded much, if at all. Now with this pan and the others, I've always used basic care instructions, not using too high of heat, probably not more than seven on my stove. Don't use abrasives, don't use metal utensils, and I let it cool before washing it out. I still say the Granite Rock pan is probably the best pan I reviewed, going back to before I had my YouTube channel, even back to the Orgreenix back in 2012, 2013. Have you used a granite rock pan? Tell me what you think in the comments below. And please subscribe for more product reviews from me, James White, with Freakin' Reviews.